Good evening, Fernando. Good evening, good evening. Do you listen to me? Yes, yes. Yeah, all right, so that's quite good. Let's quit a little bit. Hey, I can see that you are just commuting to your home. Yes. Yeah, right. You're just getting back home. Oh, yes. Good. Okay, let's wait a little bit for the rest. Now I can see. Well, actually, uh, Anibal, I don't know if Anibal, let me see. Good evening, Anibal. Good evening, good evening. Wait, let us let us wait a little bit, right? So a couple of minutes as we usually do it. So that we can uh we can see the rest of the people. You know, today Friday. And tomorrow we we'll, we we'll, we'll, you're gonna start your weekend time. Good evening, Anibal. Are you there? Well, let us wait a little bit. Like uh, when I see like some more people over here, we're going to start with the class. Okay. Good evening. I can see Merlin now, right? And also Mario Cristobal, welcome. Hi, teacher. Uh, hello. Good evening. Good evening. So you see, there are some more people who are just getting into the class, and that's fantastic. That is quite good, right? I have six people and still waiting for the rest. We're going to start in a couple of minutes okay i know that you have a lot to say tonight you have done your homework i know you have been working and studying right i i know that you have new expressions to share with your classmates and that's fantastic All right, I can see Norma here also. Veralis. Uh, okay, let's wait a little bit more. Tonight's very important because we are going to go over the, uh, the topic of, uh, related to passive voice, but tonight we're going to try to identify some some other things, right? The last time I tried to introduce passive voice, but only in present. 
tonight we're going to start uh seeing some extra info about it and we are going to try to identify some other tenses because it's quite important to get familiarized with it sooner or later you're going to be in church of uh, using those expressions and uh, in different tenses because when we talk you know we we uh, use different tenses depending on what we are um, talking about let me see let's wait a little bit okay one minute more and then we will start Now tonight is, today is Friday, and I think tomorrow you are going to rest a little bit. Do you work on, on Saturday, people? Do you work on Saturday? You... Not really? Well, Michael got into the class. Good evening, Michael. Also, Jose Daniel and Jansi are here now. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I wish you clear the attendance. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Jansi. Now, I, I hope you are better now. I hope. Okay. No. Well, I wish you clear the attendance. Do me the favor to say hello, to say I'm here. Okay, and try to be ready, right? Because tonight we have a lot of information to be shared. Okay, Aiden, Belen, Daniel Enrique. Belen, are you there? Edgar Edilson. Gladys Rubiria. Jonathan Josué. Jos José Daniel. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Good. Maria Elba, Mario Cristobal, present teacher. Welcome, Marta Berenice, Merlin, present teacher. Thank you, Michael. I'm here, teacher. Good, Noah. Norma Xiomara. Okay, Norma, Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Jansi. I know Jansi. Okay, I can see some. Okay, okay. So you will be as a listener tonight, right, Jansi? Yeah, I can see, for example, Gladys and also where at least they are. They're going to be there over here. Good. Well, well, welcome. Welcome back. You know, welcome back. We have a lot of work to do, as I told you before. So we're going to start as soon as possible and see what happens tonight. Hopefully. We're going to have a great time together. And the most important is that we're going to learn. Okay. We're going to learn something new. Okay. We have been studying about different topics during the week. Okay. And uh, also we have been studying about vocabulary, right? Now vocabulary, that's, um, that's uh, quite important when uh, talking, talking about our company, uh, 
our business, etc. right? So, and over here in the activity number four in the platform, we have some expressions, right? Now, it says like, or it's asking us to read the following sentences and it's uh, requiring to type the value, right? You know, if you are respectful, you show what? You show respect. respect. You show respect. Respect. Okay, if you are respectful, you show respect. Uh, if you are punctual, you show punctuality. 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 If you are honest, you show honesty. Honesty, right? If you are a leader, you show leadership. 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 Wow. If you are a loyal, you show loyalty. A loyalty. Now, all right. So this is this is a vocabulary, right? So we have been studying. Well, we I, I will check it. We're gonna check it. Let's check it. Okay. And let's see what's going on with it. Now, then you are going to tell me what you think about every, every, uh, <coughs> every value. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Aidan. I hope you get better. And thank you for being in the class. Okay, now what do you think about respect? Respect, important, not important. Why do you think it is uh, important or it's not that important? And what is the way you show respect to your, to your coworkers, for example, or to your classmates over here in the class? What do you think about it? Respect. It's Let's important. go very, uh -huh. It's important because improve uh, a good environment, environment between co-worker, co-classmate. Awesome, pretty good. It promotes a good promotes. environment, right? A good atmosphere, right? You know, when you are respectful, people respect you, okay? Quite good, thank you, Daniel. What do you think about punctuality? What do you think about punctuality? Are you punctual people? Do you get, do you get to work on time, most of the time? Yes, no, and why do you consider punctuality makes, makes it the difference? or can make the difference in a job. Uh-huh, hey, I mean, anybody in the group, talk to speak, because we're gonna talk about punctuality, honesty, uh, leadership, loyalty, no more than that, right? So we need to, we need to talk a little bit. What do you think about punctuality? Hello, hello. Hi there. <laughs> I think that punctuality helps us for any uh, activity at the work. Help us to develop activities at work. How come? So, finalizamos a tiempo las actividades o los, las tareas. Okay, you develop all the activities on time. If you get early, then you finish the activities on time. Otherwise, if you get late to work, of course, the time is not going to be enough. Thank you. Punctuality. What do you think about honesty? Honesty, people. 
I think there's a song, right? That's this name like that, honesty. I don't know if I'm mistaken. But honesty, what what what's all about about it? What do you think, people? Honesty. Very quickly, please, because we have some other activities. No idea about it? Okay, if you don't have any idea, okay, try to investigate it because later I will ask about it. Leadership. What do you think about that special word? Leadership. Do you consider yourself a leader? Are you a leader or do you think you are not a leader? Uh, liberal. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right, Michael. But what do you think about that word? Is it, is it important? It's a job? In yes, yes. Work? It's okay. important. But, but do the, the task well, with the co worker. Okay, very good. Okay, and what do you think about loyalty? Loyalty. Loyalty. It's necessary for the company. It is necessary for the company. Well, let's do something then. Now, do me the favor to study this info, okay, or these values, because uh, I, wa I want you to have very clear idea about this vocabulary, right? So when somebody asks you about them, so you know what to say, or maybe or you, you can get the idea about what to say, right, in a conversation regarding to those expressions. So I can I can see the Berenice. Okay. Okay, Berenice. So your message. I can see that there are uh, some people who are gonna be as listeners tonight. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay, but remember you can use the chat, okay, to interact in case you are able to do it. Uh, but if you're not able to do it, try to pay special attention because tonight we're gonna talk. Not only about values, but also about grammar. Okay. And also, Ada. Okay. But also about grammar. And tonight, well, we're going to continue by uh, talking a little bit on, on, on passive voice, right? So, but. Well, this this was the or this this is part of the vocabulary we've been studying lately, right? Uh, well, do the favor to continue doing so to continue studying the vocabulary. Okay, the topics that we have been studying so far are how to use infinitives, ing after uh, prepositions, and also about passive voice. In the last class was about. Uh, grammar and vocabulary. So tonight it's going to be a, a it's going to be general practice, okay? General practice and and uh, review about the topics that we have been studying lately. Okay, I have a couple of uh, links. Okay, we're going to go over them, and I have a presentation. And now I know I know that you have prepared something awesome, right? So. We're gonna go over, or we're going to see. Okay. We're gonna work a little bit in some of them. Okay, who's the sponsor? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to solve some of the ones that we have here. I know that you have been working in the in a book, okay. Well, I think well, uh, uh, let us try to work.
in this exercise, right? Just just to just to have some review. Now, who wants to read the the, the complete statement or the complete question? Uh, number one. Anybody from the group? I know that you have already finished it. This is in the page number fourteen. Okay. And I just want you to read. I just want you to read. Who's responsible for? Can you listen Super to me? Biofilm. Okay, now do me the favor to read the whole statement, please. Do me the favor to read the whole statement, the whole sentence, the whole question. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? Hey, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? What about the number two? Who is in share of checking the quality of the products? Of hey, the who's product? in yeah, thank you. Who's, who's in charge of checking the quality of the product? Very good. Number three. Who is responsible who for repairing the problems of the machines? A who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Number four. Who is accountable for selling the product? A who is accountable for selling the products? Good. Number six. Anybody, I mean. Uh huh. Who is sure. in charge of assisting the hey. assembler? Okay, who's in charge of assisting the assemblers in the number six? Who is a uh, contable for managing? managing... Mm. No. Um, managing the world operation. Operation. Okay. okay so very good. Uh, yeah, it's okay. No problem. <laughs> oh, okay, Ronan. Fortunately, you are over here, Ronan. I saw your your message. Hey, who's accountable for managing the whole, whole, whole operation? Okay, so th th that's one, one of the exercises I wanted to check. Okay, we also were talking about, about, about this, right? And actually you, you were in charge of uh, working or um, checking the statement or creating a statement from passive, active to passive. Is that right? Did you do it? Can you use ejercicio? Que les dejé de pasar de activo a pasivo estas oraciones. Who did it? Who did it? Now, I was, I was thinking about having a, a complete review on a passive voice, you know, because last time I introduced passive voice by using only one tense, uh, mostly, right? Because it was about present simple, but you know, I told you that a passive voice can be used by having different tenses. And this is only one of them. Okay. So as you can see, I have like, I have a lot of a lot of information on here and exercises. So do me the favor to participate and uh, let's try to take advantage of time, okay? ¿Quién hizo la tarea, esa tarea?
No one? No one. Yeah, I can see, right? Who who did it? Now people know Rex produces clothes. <laughs> now, okay, vamos a definir. Aquí nos dice true or false. Esto ya lo hicieron, pero vamos a hacer un ejercicio que no sea de true or false. Okay. Eso sí, yo, yo creo ya, ya lo hicieron. Eso es de la, de la pregunta. Aquí lo vamos a poner active si es activo o P si es pasivo. Ok, ustedes van a decir cómo está la oración. Now, people know Rex produces clothes with mother design for kids. Active or passive? Active or passive? Active. Okay, some people say active, some people say passive. I say, okay, mira que importante va a ser esa práctica porque algunos dicen que es activo, otros dicen que es pasivo. Eso nos quiere decir que debemos de entrarle de lleno nuevamente. People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. Active or passive? Active. Okay. Uh, Michael C. says active. People see Rex as a prestigious company. A prestigious company. Active or passive? Uh, huh? Active. You say active? Hey, don't be, don't be afraid of committing mistakes. Yo, yo les, he, les he pedido que por favor no tengan miedo de cometer errores. Solo, solo vamos a identificar cuál es, la, cuál es la correcta y cuál no, y eso es todo, ¿ok? People rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Active or passive? Passive. Okay, somebody said passive. Uh, no, yes. Now let's see what's what's going on. Uh, what or what are the the features or the or the structures in the sentence that makes you think that make you think that's active or passive? A los que contestaron, ¿qué les hizo pensar que la oración es activa o que la oración es pasiva? ¿Dónde, ¿Cómo lo reconocemos si la oración es activa o pasiva? Ok, anybody in the group, please. For the verb. For the verb. Ok. Ajá. Por People el, know. Por, por el adjetivo, dice. Está antes y el. El otro creo que está después. What is the adjective? <laughs> in a, people know Rex produces clothes with uh, modern, modern designs. Modern is the adjective in this in this one. Mm. Quality clothes, quality is the adjective. Prestigious is the adjective. So, Most prestigious, adjective. So lo identificamos por adjetivos o no, por, no sé, por... sería por el, el verbo sujeto sujeto the okay. verb in base form the verb in the base form okay so people know people know people see people rate is that right now <coughs> all of them now what is the things Porque nos vamos a meter de lleno con, pues no tan de lleno, pero por lo menos que los identifiquemos. You know tenses, right? Sabemos que en inglés hay, hay, hay tiempos. Tenses, cuando oigan al teacher, tenses, o talking about tenses, les está diciendo diferentes tiempos. Ok. Now, people know Rex produces. What is this tense? Where is that? People know Rex manufactures present simple, right? Present. People see Rex as a as a prestigious company. Present. People present. rate Rex as one of the 20 most present, right? Present. Now, what 
how do we identify uh, that's active or, or passive? Who knows in the first? Who produces? Who produces? In la primera, ¿quién Hello. produce? Rex. Rex. Ah, el que produce Rex. Los. Los. Ajá. Los. En la segunda. Rex. También es Rex. En la tercera. Rex. Uh, now, who see? Porque acá Rex no produce, no produce nada. Aquí sí. las personas ven a Rex. Ven a quién? A Rex. People rate. People rate Rex. Okay. Tenemos quien hace la actividad. Entonces, ya, esa es una clave para saber que esto está en activo. Activo. Active. 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 And active. All of them are inactive. Okay? So, if you want to, if you want to, to, to change the sentence into passive, ¿cómo haríamos la primera, por ejemplo? Para, hagamos, tratemos de hacer la primera. No se preocupen que estoy tratando de introducir nuevamente voz pasiva. Ajá. Ya identificamos que están en activo. Yo los quiero pasar a, 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 a pasivo. Decir lo mismo, pero utilizando voz pasiva. ¿Alguien se recuerda cómo? Eh, teacher, y en ese caso, si Rex es el, es el que hace la acción, eh, ¿quién sería el, el pasivo? ¿Serían los modernos diseños para niños? ¿Los modern design for kids? O, no sé, ya me confundí. Uh, yeah, that's, eso es lo que, lo que menos quiero, que... Okay? Que se me confundan. Vale, veamos. Rex, acá ya tenemos el doer of the action, ¿verdad? Es que solo quiero que hagamos un ejercicio para ya luego movernos a estas dos pestañas que tengo aquí. Ok, eso, eso nos va a ayudar. Ok, Rex. Produces is the verb. Ahora, ¿el qué produce? Closes. Ah, ok. Eso aquí tengo tres, miren. Rex produce ropa. La ropa es producida por Rex. Ok, eso si lo podemos hacer en inglés, lo podemos hacer en español y en cualquier otro idioma. Entonces lo único que estamos tratando es de que la acción misma sea más importante que quién hace la acción. Por lo menos acá en esta oración en activo, ya sabemos que el énfasis es en quién hace la acción. Pero en voz pasivo queremos definir o queremos resaltar más a la acción misma. No. Ok. Now, how come, teacher? But well, let's try to in here. So we say Rex produces clothes. Ah, entonces debemos empezar con clothes. Clothes. Ajá, ¿quién me ayuda? Yes. Produced by Rex. Are modern design for kids. Are. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Produce. Produce. Ah, ahora, fíjense bien. Aquí hay algo que nos va a ayudar. Let me see. Uh, I have the verb over here, produces, right? Está en presente simple. Ok, cuando yo lo paso a, a voz pasiva, 
are produced. Recuérdense que ya eso cambia a pasado participio. Are produced by Rex. Clothes are produced by Rex. Pudiéramos haber puesto Mother design clothes are produced by Rex. ¿Ok? Are produced by Rex. ¿Ok? Period. Oops, sorry. Period. Ok. So, we're going to go over some some uh, some extra info about it, but before going to that part, antes de ir a esa parte, quiero que descansemos un poquito en el sentido de que no nos vamos a ir directamente ahorita con esto. Vamos a darle el espacio a ustedes a ver qué es lo que trajeron. Ok, de, 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 para demostrarnos. Ok, vamos a, a, a invertir. 15 minutos, que sean efectivos, ¿ok? 15 minutos efectivos en donde ustedes nos compartan el repaso. Aquello que ustedes dicen, wow, esta semana me llevo este dispositivo a ING Forms y pues yo les voy a ayudar con voz pasiva, ¿ok? Al final yo me voy a quedar con voz pasiva y si alguien más me quiere apoyar aclarando algunas cosas que usted también ha comprendido, entonces ahí... Eh, continuamos trabajando en equipo ok, pero si sí quiero de, quiero que ustedes inviertan eh, invertamos como grupo 15 minutos okay? de tal modo que ustedes muestren también qué es lo que se llevan de esta semana ok, now let's start now ok, volunteers, please volunteers, I won't I won't start asking uh, one by one because uh, sometimes it's, it is very difficult for me ok So about volunteers. Volunteers. <laughs> volunteers. With the activities or the activity you have prepared. Me teacher. Thank you, Michael. Thank a ver you. cómo me sale. <laughs> will be really nice. You will see. Yeah, I'm going to speak about my company. Uh, in the company that I work in has much departments responsible the different areas and different chief. Uh, it is the maintenance department. Okay, Michael, we are listening to you, okay? Uh, yes, teacher. Eh, continue. Is the maintenance department the electrical, the boil maker, and pre cool the rice and beans of processing? My department is in charging of treatment of the contaminated product. Our department are I work together for the good of of our company. Uh, I like to work together with the department and I communicate with them. Uh, that's it for the my company. And okay. also I and also I'll do one Sentences the uh, voice active, active voice and passive voice. And say, I know a beautiful people. The active voice and passive voice, the people beautiful is now by me. Okay, 
That's it. <laughs> okay, quite good. Beautiful people are known by me. Remember that people is plural, Michael. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, don't, don't say people is, right? At least okay. you say Salvadorian <laughs> people is. Now that's yeah. the only way, right? So you can you can speak about it. Uh, uh I mean in the third person. But that thank you very much, Michael, for doing your best okay. effort. I, I really appreciate um, it. También quería leer the mission y, y vision. Okay, take your time. And my company. The okay. mission is product and market growth of the basic basket um livestock feed efficiently um prof profitably seeking and continuous improvement of our process and service to meet the quality required by our customers this is the mission and vision say uh, to be a leader leader to be a, a leader in the processing and commercialization of basic bas basket product to offer our clients food and essential products acting with social responsibility towards our collaborators and the community. And this is the vision. That, that's it. That's it. Thank you, Michael. Great for okay. okay. Now, anybody else from the group? We are still uh, having 10 minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes more so that you can show everybody what you have been uh, practicing. Uh, maybe some expression like the way Michael uh, presented, maybe some sentences that you investigated, some expressions that you uh, learned during the week. I don't know, just let me know about it. Okay, another volunteer. Another volunteer at two. And another volunteer at three. Hey, what 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 happened to you? And I have two listeners. Well, for example, so I have Aidan, Aníbal, Berenice, Daniel, Edgar, Juan, Mario, Merlin, Michael, well, Michael, Michael already participated, Norma, Ronan, and Jancy. I know Jancy is sick, right? But what about the rest? Teresa also. Well, if you don't feel like that confident to participate now, I hope you can do it later, okay? You can do it later. We're, we're going to continue having some other um, opportunities because I call them opportunities. Opportunities to do what? Opportunities to put into practice what uh, we we have been studying lately, okay? Well, I have, give me a second, because uh, I think I will start with the presentation, active and passive voice. Well, I got this presentation and I consider it quite good. 
Okay, we're going to go over it once again, active and passive voice. Okay, I think it says that the mouse was eaten by the cat. The mouse was eaten by the cat. And the other one says, the mouse ate the cat. Okay, are they the same sentence? Dicen lo mismo las dos, las dos oraciones? Lo alcanzan a leer? No, casi no se lee. No. Okay, I, I, I will use this one. Passive voice. Yes, the mouse was the mouse was eaten by the it. mouse ate the cat. The mouse ate the cat. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's why I'm trying to, to have it here. The mouse was eaten by the cat. And the other one says the mouse ate the cat. The mouse ate the cat. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, sí, dice lo mismo al final de cuentas. Sorry? It says the, it says the same? Sorry? It's the same. ¿Dice lo mismo? Sí. Yes. <laughs> ok, now listen carefully. Analyze it, ok? Vamos a adentrarnos nuevamente a, a voz pasiva, ok? Y en esta presentación hay otros tiempos porque tenemos que familiarizarnos con otros tiempos, ¿ok? Now, the mouse was eaten. Now we use this one. We have the mouse over here and we have the mouse over here. Yes or no? El mismo ratón está ahí, ¿sí o no? Ahora, ¿qué sigue después? Verbo. Se van a dar cuenta por qué es tan necesario saber de esto, porque aparentemente pareciera como que hice lo mismo, pero no dice lo mismo. The mouse was eaten. So I, I, I will, I will try, I will, I will say it in Spanish, okay, so that you get the, mm -hmm. the general idea about what we're going to start talking about once again. Fíjense bien. El ratón. ¿Qué dice después del ratón? Fue comido por Fue el comido. gato. Ah, se lo comió el gato, se lo comió. Pero en el segundo. El se ratón. Con el gato. Se comió, se comió el, gato. el gato. Dice lo mismo. Lo contrario. No, como están ah, pasados. En... ¿Qué eso? Mm. Now you see about the importance of... of of talking about passive and active, right? Because we can get confused. Si no manejamos esto, nos podemos confundir con, con la estructura o con lo que nos digan, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la importancia, una de las importancias de voz pasiva. Además de eso, pues nos, nos abre muchos caminos para empezar a entender muchas cosas en inglés. Well, that's our story. Last week I found a great department. The rent was reasonable. That's why. And now, where is active or passive voice? ¿Qué tenemos en esa, en esa oración? ¿Tenemos alguna estructura en voz pasiva o en voz activa? Voz activa, iPhone. Active voice. Okay, active voice. I found a great department. Okay, now, how can we convert this, this uh, active to passive? Active to passive. An apartment. Uh, okay. Is Let's say like a great, a great apartment. Ah, uh, it's true. A great apartment is mm. 
Okay, let's see. Founded, no. A great department. No. Was no, pay attention. Founded. ¿Qué tiempo tengo acá? Se lo digo porque lo vimos en, en básico. O sea, vimos, vimos algunos, algunos tiempos en básico. Participio. No. Participio. No. Pas, pasado. Now, why Michael, listen, I will, I will let you know about this. Porque Michael dice es pasado. No se preocupe, Michael, porque eso es normal. Me encanta que ustedes no, nos hayan dicho que es pasado. Porque esto, esto nos va a ayudar, Michael. Now. Regreso a los verbos. Sí, sí. Fine. ¿Cuál es el pasado de fine? Was a great apartment was. Yeah, um, but, but what is the past form of, of fine? Oh. ¿Cuál es la forma pasada de ese verbo fine? Found it. Ah, by, but he, he, he dijeron oh. found it. Found. Okay, váyanse por favor a la, a la web y busquen cuál es el pasado de fine. Oh. Oh. Sin el ed. Ah, ¿Qué descubrimos? Que el verbo es irregular. Es irregular. Ok. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? Past participle. Mm, Founder. No, Founder. Busquen, found. busquen en la web, por favor. <ríe> Uh, igual, found. Oh, it's the same, found. <laughs> All right. So, ahora comprenden por qué Michael dijo uh, participio? Es similar. Ah, porque es igual. Pasado es igual que el pasado participio. Ok. Pero, ¿qué estructura tenemos acá? I found a great apartment. Este found, ¿cuál es? ¿Es este o es el tercero? Porque ahí está la duda. Si yo find, encontrar. Si yo found, encontró. Si yo found, es encontrado. So, el segundo, encontrar. Es el segundo, one, right? Second. So this one. This one is the one that I'm using. Why? Because I can see That in the sentence we're using simple past. En la oración tenemos pasado simple. Ahora, fíjense bien. Cuando tenemos pasado, ya vimos cuando tenemos presente. Ahora vamos a ver cuál es el pasado de... Ya dijimos que en voz pasiva siempre vamos a usar verbo to be, ¿sí o no? Yes. Vale, ¿cuál es el pasado del verbo to be? Bas. Forma base, be. Pass? Been. Was, was or where? Ese es el pasado. Was or where? ¿Cuál es el pasado participio? Where? Been. Yeah, been. Be, was, or been. Ok, so. When I have simple past to in here, si yo tengo pasado aquí. Entonces. Si yo tengo pasado aquí, lo siento por el montón de líneas. Si yo tengo pasado aquí, tengo que usar el verbo vi en pasado. A great department. Was or where? Was. Was. Pretty good. Was. Was what? But ahora sí. Was what? Found. Was, okay, now. What, one, give me a second. Was one, was two, or was three? Was three. Okay. Was. Very good. Now, yes, right? Okay, so voy a tratar de, de limpiar un poco esto para que veamos. Oh. Okay, so a great department was found. Okay, 
Is, is, instead of saying, I found a great department, you say, hey, a great department was found. Passive, okay? You can include by me, right? But, but <laughs> it, will, it all depends on the, on the conversation you are facing. Okay, now, keep in mind and keep concentrated because we are just getting into something big. Concentrado, por favor, todos concentraditos. I decided to throw a party after uh, to the, the other night. Now, I decided to throw a party. What is the tense? It's past tense. It's decided. the past, simple past. So decided. I just want you to identify the tense. What is the tense? The next day I was thrown out of bed. What is the tense? Past. Simple past. Uh, or the pass of the verb be, right? Uh, well, actually, over okay, here we have we have a uh, passive, right? I was thrown, thrown out. But well, I won't, I won't uh, stay there because I have some other examples here. I threw a party the other night that's active, right? Meaning I did something. I threw a party, I did something the other night. I was thrown out of it means something was done to me. I was thrown. I threw, I was thrown. Active and passive. Now, I have this info. The passive form with the verb to be. Esto es importante. The passive voice is formed with the verb to be. Aha. Uh -huh. In the appropriate things. Todo esto es importantísimo. Plus, les están dando la estructura de cómo formarlo. Miren, plus, past, participle of the main verb. So, once again, the passive form is used with the verb to be in the appropriate tense plus past participle of the main verb. Example, the thief was arrested early this morning. Toyota cars are made in Japan. A new class representative will be chosen on Monday. Okay? Now, what is this active or passive, people? Son activos o pasivos los ejemplos. Active or passive. Active or passive. Active or passive. Number one? Passive, passive right? Passive. Number two? Passive. Passive. Number three? Passive. passive. Okay, ¿cómo lo identificaron? Aquí está la estructura. Verb to be plus. Verb to be plus. Plus participle, right? In the appropriate tense. Okay. The verb to be plus. Plus participle. In the third one. Be in the future plus past participle. Lo que quiero que identifiquen bueno. es que no importa el tiempo de la oración, oh, pero el verbo be va a depender del, de, de, del, del tiempo, ¿ok? Más, eh, lo que sigue siempre va a ser pasado participio. Was arrested, or a maid will be chosen. Esto está en pasado. Eso está en presente y esto está en futuro. Pero si ustedes se fijan, arrested, past participle. Made, past participle. Chosen, past participle. All right? All right? Well, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, let us take, oh, let us have some review about the verb to be. Now, the verb to be in present. Um, 
is are. Present continuous um, is are plus ing, right? I am studying, I am I am working, uh -huh. I am uh, paying attention, I am uh, he is, etc. Ing. Present perfect tense. Solo, solo, no vamos a entrar de lleno, ya les he dicho, cada tiempo pues tiene su estructura, pero sí es bueno que nos familiaricemos. Okay. Present perfect, tell me. Y eh, las reglas que, que acaba de mostrar anteriormente funcionan para todos los aspectos verbales. Esto yeah. lo está mostrando ahorita. Yes. Ok, so Michael, let's see. Let's get back. Vamos a regresar al anterior. Yes. Take a look, Michael. Acá nos dice, voz pasiva, ¿cómo se forma? Dice, con el verbo to be. Ya vimos que el verbo to be puede ser, I miss are, was, where, being. Uh -huh. Con, dependiendo, ¿ok? Al tiempo apropiado. Y después de eso necesitamos un pasado participio. Por ejemplo, lo, la, la pregunta de Michael, ¿la podemos usar en todos los tiempos? Sí, eso está en pasado, eso está en presente y eso está en, en futuro. Y las tres son voz pasiva. ¿Ok, Michael? Mm. All right, That, that's why we have this. That's why we have the following. Por eso tenemos esto acá. The present simple tense of the verb to be, to be, am, is, are. Present continuous, am, is, are, plus ing of a verb. Present perfect, have been, has seen. Uh, the past simple tense, was and where. The past continuous, was, where, in ing form. The past perfect tense, had been. The future tense, will be, and there are some models. Ayer vimos algún, ayer o el... O oh, eh, anterior, parece que vimos algunos modales. Con los modales siempre va a ser forma base. Can be, will be, should be, may be, must be, etc. Well, getting back to, to, to the topic or to the sentences okay. about, right? Do these sentences have the same meaning? <laughs> Nuevamente, ¿tienen el mismo no. significado? No, no right? It is not the same, right? So, the mouse was eaten. The mouse ate. Las dos oraciones están en pasado. Sí, las dos están en pasado. Pero quien comete la acción o quien se come a quien es la gran diferencia. Ok. Now, there are some other passive. The passive is more common in the written than in spoken English. Okay? Uh, it sounds formal and impersonal. And for that reason, it's often used in reports of crimes or legal procedures. He was sentenced to two years in prison. Okay? Newspaper reports the match was postponed due to a heavy fog. Scientific writing, three milli, milliliters of water are added to the mixture. Announcements, flight BA302 to London is delayed by two hours. Is delayed. Customers are requested not to smoke. Okay, so this is important because, you know, it, it sounds formal and impersonal when using passive uh, in the written form. And it is more common to use it when speaking. Okay. Now, we also use it for everyday situations. We use it when we don't know or care who performs the action. Okay. We don't know or, or, or care who performs the action. In other words, the passive is used when we are more interested in what happens to a thing or a person. 
Nevertheless, it is not unusual to mention the actual doer in a passive sentence. In that case, we put them at the end of the sentence after the preposition by. And we have some examples. Great, great Expectation was written by Charles Dickens. Star Wars was directed by George Lucas. By, by. Now, let's practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar, okay? Creo que muchas veces tanta explicación nos termina confundiendo y es mejor practicar. Ok, let's take a look at this. ¿A dónde están los verbos? Queremos voz pasiva, ok? Aquí si lo completo, let me see, put the verse in brackets into the correct passive form, passive. Form. What are the verbs? Test, sell, build, find, construct. Vamos a hacer lo primero, miren, lo primero que hay que identificar para completar este ejercicio, búsquenme por favor las tres formas de este verbo. Forma base, pasado y pasado participio. Después de este, después de, de this one, after that, this one, and after that, this one, okay? Passive. Now, if somebody can share it in the, in the, in the chat, that would be fantastic. Si alguien lo comparte en el chat, sería genial para que todos lo veamos. Eso es lo primero. Okay, I'm waiting for. Para poderlo resolver, necesito saber qué forma de verbo voy a usar. Okay, number one, Aníbal says, tasted, tested. Okay, so now we know that's regular or irregular, Aníbal. Regular or irregular verb? Regular. Es regular, ¿verdad? Porque termina en ed, ¿ok? Ahora, ya identificamos que vamos a usar testil, que ese es el pasado participio. Testil, ¿ok? Ok, very good. Ahí lo puso uh, uh, Aníbal en el chat. Test, testil. Now, Ya que tengo eso, ¿qué más dice la, dice la regla que debemos usar? ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué más le hace falta a esta oración? Ok, y mientras tanto, busquen alguien más el, el, el verbo sell. En las tres formas. Voy a apagar la cámara y te traigo la cena. Ok, very good, Daniel. Sell, sold, sold. So, what type of verb is this one? Regular or, irre or, or, or irregular? Irregular. That's irregular, right? So, now we know that the, one, the form that we're going to use is sold. Over here, we're going to use tested. Well, we're going we're gonna to see with the first tested. Esa es en la primera parte. En la última parte vamos a ocupar. Sold. Is that right? Yes. Ok, so ya identificamos que esa tiene que ir ahí, que esta tiene que ir aquí, y esta tiene que ir aquí. O sea que ya, 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 ya casi lo tenemos completo. ¿Qué le hace falta a la oración, people? What are, the, what are we missing in the sentence? Number three. Excellent. Pretty good. Shampoo. Shampoo what? Yes. 
Is. Was. Testo. Was. That's in past, right? Was. Was. Tested. On animals before it. It. It was on. It were it before it. Was or where? Where? What? Was participle? Person. Shot. Shot. Okay, now I will be clear about it, okay? Uh, we're gonna see what's coming or what is the way uh, it, it is up so that we can see something over here. Vamos a ver cómo está la respuesta. Quiero, quiero mostrarles algo. Okay. Can you see there? Shampoo is tasty. It is. It is salt. Miren. Nosotros arriba lo pusimos en pasado, pero aquí nos está dando la opción en presente. ¿Por qué será? Is. Tasty is salt. Y nosotros le pusimos was. Tasted what salt. This is a general truth. So uh, over here, you need to put into practice everything we have been studying, right? Si yo digo, el champú se prueba antes de que sea vendido en las tiendas. Es una, es una, es una realidad, ¿sí o no? Yes. Ahora, si acá dijera da shampoo da shampoo ahora sí ya estamos hablando de un shampoo en específico da shampoo was tasted el shampoo fue probado en animales antes okay. de que fuera vendido ok so general to so, but that's little by little, okay? Little by little. So, over here we discovered that is tested, right? Is tested. Porque está hablando en general, teacher. Yes, Michael. Yeah. Okay. And? Teacher, solo para tal vez tener la idea en, 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 lo explico en español solo para tener la idea. All right. O sea, al final, la voz pasiva es cuando no importa el tiempo, pero estamos hablando en general de una acción. Mm, o, de un sujeto, o, o de un sujeto que termina con una acción, pero que es en general, no, no específicamente para una sola persona. No, in, in other words, in other words, it's like this. Eh, en voz activa, si ustedes se fijan, en voz activa, uh, enfocamos uh, 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 quién en quién hace la acción quién quién por ejemplo en el primero no aparece quién o oh, sí shampoo is tasty no quién quién lo probó dónde está en la oración ah no está entonces qué implica la voz pasiva la acción misma nos interesa eh, la acción más que quién lo hizo quién lo hizo Ok, y en activa es diferente. Por aquí, si yo hubiese dicho, si lo, si lo hacemos en activo esto, solo para ejemplificar, ok. Uh, I can say, for example, para convertirlo en activo, puedo decir, Daniel. Tested. De shampoo. On animals before selling 
it in shops. Okay. En, la, en, este, en este que acabo de hacer, ¿pueden identificar dónde está, quién hizo la acción? Daniel. Daniel, ok. So, esto es activo y esto es pasivo. Ahora o sea sí. que en el pasivo se presume el sujeto. Exactly. Ajá, it's, it's not there, no está acá, pero ya sabemos que alguien tuvo que hacerlo. Ok. Okay. No interesa quién fue, lo que interesa es que el champú fue, fue no, bueno, uh, el... evaluado antes de, de ponerlo en venta. Eso es lo, 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 lo más relevante. Ok, okay. so, okay. let's see. Let's try to complete this, ok. Shampoo is tasted. That was it, right? An animal before it is sold. Ahí está la primera. Okay, so what about number two? This house built in 19th century. Built. ¿En qué tiempo estará esa oración? Presente. Present. Simple present. Present. Now. In 19th But, century. Ah, uh, century. Present past. or past? Yeah. Past, right? So if I say, uh, if I say, for example, um, eh, Berenice built this house in the 19th century. So we have, that is active, right? So, but uh, as I told you before, que vamos a identificar el tipo de verbo, si ¿sí o no? Yes. Sigo insistiendo en los verbos, okay? Búsqueme por favor, pasado y pasado participio de build. Después se van con find, y después se van con construct. Okay, Edgar, I will try to speak louder. Okay, some people are facing problems because of the rain. I saw the message in the WhatsApp group. Thanks for letting me know, Edgar. So what is the past form of bill? The bill, simple past. Please include the simple pass. So what is the simple pass form? Built. Built. What is the past participle form? Built. Built. So that's it, regular or irregular? Irregular. That's irregular. Okay, very good. Now, what is the form we are going to use? What is the form we are going to use? This one? Oh, sorry. I inclusive me, me equivoqué con la L. Okay, this one? Yes or no? ¿Qué forma vamos a usar? La uno? Number one? Number two? Or number three? Number three. Number three. Ah, okay. Three. Sí. Number two. Sí. No, number two? No, number it's number three. 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 Okay. Okay. Es esta columna. 
Entiendo, la, la, algunas veces nos podemos confundir porque se escriben igual, se pronuncian igual, y, y, pero no significan, o sea, la forma es diferente. Construir, construyó, construido. ¿Ok? So, oops. So now we know that the 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 one that we're gonna we're gonna use, right? Okay. So, what is the one that we need here? The house was built. Was, was built built. In the 19th century. Okay, now did you get the past participle form of the verb find? Past participle. Yeah, past participle about find, find, found, found. So found is, is the past participle form, right? Two missing children are found or were found safe were, as well. Were found. Ah, okay. Were found. And the last one, a new bridge next year. A new bridge next year. Uh -huh. Was con constructed? No, but listen carefully. You need to pay attention to... Uh, ah, okay, very good. That's regular, right, Aníbal? <laughs> That's regular, es regular, ¿sí o no? Yes. But, pero miren la expresión, next year. Next year, próximo año. Ok, so, quiere decir que ya no es pasado, ok. Es futuro. Yes. Will. Construction. No, but will what? ¿Qué hace falta ahí? Fue construido. En todas las voces, en todo tipo de voz pasiva, siempre vamos, siempre debe existir ese, ese factor o esa estructura o esa palabrita ahí. ¿Cuál de cuál es? To be. Ah, ok. Entonces conocemos will, will be. Ah, oh, will be. Cons. Constructed. Construct. Will be constructed. Next year. Okay, we're gonna check. We're gonna check, we're gonna see in the next one, right? Now the first one, shampoo is tested on animals before it is sold in shops. This house was built in the 19th century. Two missing children. Okay, so this one is another story. Have been found safe and well. Don't worry, because this is another structure, right? Podíamos haber dicho, were found, fueron encontrados. Pero acá la estructura que ocuparon en la presentación se llama presente perfecto. Have been found, have han been sido found. encontrados. ¿La que teníamos ahí arriba está buena? Sí. ¿La que está aquí también? Sí, las dos están buenas, solo han, solo han ocupado eh, un tiempo diferente, eso es todo. Okay, a new bridge will be constructed. Good next year. Okay, then we have some other, some other, some so some more info in here. Now, active, passive. Example: The postman delivers a letter, a dot letters at nine. Active or passive? It's active, right? 
This one is active. Tenemos quien hace la acción, tenemos el verbo y tenemos el objeto, ¿ok? So, the first step to identify active from, from passive is identify the object of the active sentence. Ok. El cartero entregó, el que entregó el cartero. Las cartas. Ah, entonces eso lo vamos a llamar object. Object. El, el... Ok. Object. Ya lo identificamos. Ese es el primer paso. Miren. Identify the object of the active sentence. <laughs> and replace it and replace it at the beginning of the passive sentence. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? En la activa vamos a identificar oh, sorry, el objeto. Y el objeto se va a ir ¿a dónde? ¿A dónde se va a ir el objeto? Al principio. Al principio, aquí está. ¿eh? So at the beginning. Ok, uh -huh. ya lo vamos a ver aquí abajito, miren, ya aquí abajito está como debe de quedar. Step 2, identify the things. Ya, ya dijimos que vamos a identificar primero el objeto. Lo segundo, the second. At the beginning. Ah, yeah. Yeah, the, now we know that the object goes at the beginning. The second step, el paso dos. Identificar the el tiempo, the tiempo, of the active verb. Ahora, ¿qué tiempo es este? Espérame que siempre. Let me see. ¿Qué tiempo? Es? What, what is the tense over here? Simple present. Simple present. Now, identify the tense. Ya lo identificamos. Ok. Uh, and put the verb to be in the same tense. Simple like that, right? So, uh, Daniel say, present a simple teacher. Simple present. Simple present. Ahí está, ya lo identificaron. Ahora, ¿cómo debe ir el verbo to be? Si uh, allá arriba está en simple present. Tiene que ir en el mismo to be tiempo. Present también. Tiene que ir en el mismo tiempo, ¿ok? Si la oración ah. estuviera en pasado, el verbo, di, vi, el verbo to be tendría que ir en pasado. Y así well, se va a ir well. moviendo, sí, de acuerdo al tiempo. All right. So, and then we have turn, the step three, turn the main active verb into the past participle. What is the main verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? Main verb. ¿Dónde está el verbo principal acá en esta oración? Identify. Oh, no, over here. Uh, no, uh, deliver. Ah, ok, deliver. This is a main no, verb. No. no hay otro verbo en realidad aquí. Okay. The main verb turn. Hay que cambiarlo. ¿A qué forma? Past participle. Past participle. And it's regular. And then we have the result. Aquí tenemos el resultado. Miren. The letters are delivered at nine. Todo lo que está aquí, paso uno, paso dos, paso tres, se resume en esta oracióncita. ¿Ok? Now, any questions so far? Any question? Mm, no, no question. Perfect. Tell me, Michael. Este, si el, mmm, si la oración está presente simple, ¿por qué se pasa el verbo en pasado? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. If the sentence is in simple present, ok, and we want, oops, give me a second, give me a second, I have problems with my laptop. Give me a second, please, give me a second. Se me, okay. se, me ha, se me ha terminado la, la batería, permitan. Thank you. 
All right, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't notice about it. No me había dado cuenta, I'm sorry. So coming back to, 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 to Michael's question, right? Okay, teacher, why the sentence is in present? And then we need to have the, the verb in the past participle. This is past participle, pasado participio, okay? Okay. Es because, uh, Michael, acá está en activo. El cartero entrega. No dice entregó. No dice va a entregar. No dice entregará. No dice está entregando. Dice entrega. Ok. No es otro tiempo, sino presente simple. Ahora, ¿qué dice la, qué dice la, la regla? Primero, identify the object. Segundo, identify the tense. Eso es todo. Identificar el tiempo. Ya vimos que es presente simple. And then, cambiar. Miren, este es el verbo cambiar. Chau. El verbo principal, que ya vimos que está en presente, al pasado participio. Y ahí mm -hmm. ya tenemos voz pasiva. The letters are delivered at night. ¿Qué me dice que la voz pasiva está en presente? Porque esta está en presente. Y esta también debe estar en presente. ¿Qué me dice en la, en la voz pasiva? El verbo to be. Ah, the sí. verb to be. Ok. The verb to be. ¿Y qué Muy me bien. dice que esta oración está en presente? El verbo principal, delivers. El verbo principal, delivers. Okay. Yeah. Now, is it clear? Any questions? Okay. No more questions? <laughs> <laughs> no, no more questions. <laughs> no more questions so far. Espérense que ya les va a tocar hacer algunos ejercicios. Okay. Now, practice. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro ejercicios. Okay. Vamos a ocupar ocho minutos. En cuatro ejercicios. Cuando usted lo tenga, lo pone en el chat, porfa, en el chat. This is, remember, this is pure practice. Okay? Now, whenever you get the answer, type it in the chat. You have eight minutes. Ocho minutos, okay? Todas están en activo. Ya se los estoy. The police, okay? They found, they... The, the two detective question, they will take, okay. All of them are in active. Todos están en activo. Hay que pasarlo a pasivo, okay? Eight minutes, ocho minutos. Y de ahí, pues, si, espero que lo logremos y espero ver las respuestas en el chat. Eight minutes, people. Recibir por los pecados, por los cuales sepan 
sobrellevante y con deleto de aquellos que ignoran y llevan como quien se haya igualmente rodeado de misterio y por esta debo de ser certificado en descuento de, de los pecados no no menos de por los tuyos propios que por los de todos ni nadie se aporte esta dignidad si no es llamado de Dios como Aarón así también si no se aprobó el plan no voy a hacer que no si no existe de Dios eso le dice que yo le dije, yo te he escogido hoy, al modo que también, pero no te vas a ver ya, ¿no?
Okay, you're missing two sentences only, right? Two detectives question him in church him with murder. They will take him to court later today.
Okay. What about this one? Two detectives question him and charge him with murder. Okay, that's the last one. Okay, I'm still waiting for number three, right? Well, we're, we're going to stop right here with this exercise. We're going to see the answers and we're going to compare. And we're going to see the answer for the for the two detectives, okay? Let's see. Let's see what's coming. The suspect was. Okay, give me a second. Remember about it, okay? Now let me see. The suspect is question, Merlin. Um, but this is in simple past, yes or no? Two detectives question him in church him. That's simple past. So the, the suspect was questioned. Yes or no? Was questioned in church by, in church with murder by two detectives. Okay, let us see. I will delete the ones that you provided and just keep them into your mind. Now, let's see. First one, the suspect was arrested late last night. Good. He was found after an intensive search. He was questioned in church with murder by two detectives. And he will be taken to court later today. Okay, so we're gonna stop going here. I, I, well, I have more info, but I think it's been enough. You know what I will do? Well, I will stop sharing. Uh, do you have any question about this exercise? Tienen preguntas de este ejercicio? Primero identificaron tiempo. Okay. Verbo to be en pasado. Este y este se escriben igual, pero son formas distintas. Aquí está en pasado. Y aquí está en pasado participio, past participle. So that's different, right? Now, if you have questions... Simple past, simple past, simple past, we're being past. Future, future, being future. Questions? Questions, people, about it? Okay, no, any question, oh, right? No, no question. No questions, okay? No questions. Very good, Juan, thank you. Okay, I will stop sharing. <clears throat> I will stop sharing. And well, I will check list attendance. <sighs> 
How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo se siente? I got confused, I got confused. You got confused. No nos vamos a dar por vencidos, ¿ok? Voy a buscar otros enlaces en YouTube. Vamos a ver qué, en qué más les podemos brindar, pero no nos vamos a dar por vencidos. Muy bien. Teacher, yo creo que tengo ahí unos, eh, unos ejemplos de eso, no sé, pero lo voy a buscar y lo mando al, al, al grupo. Perfect, perfect. No nos dejemos, ¿ok? No, no nos rindamos. Es poco a poco, ustedes apenas llevan que dos días con, con Passive Voice y hay tanto que estudiar, o sea, tantos verbos, eh, tantas um, expresiones, vocabularios, hay mucho. Okay. Tell me. Este, y para saber si en una oración estamos hablando de del de verbo en pasado o en gerundio, me imagino yo que tiene mucho que ver el, el, el verbo to be. Uh, if we are talking about Jaren, how come, Michael? How come? ¿Cómo, Michael? No comprendí. O sea, sí, sí, o sea, simple vista para identificar este, qué sentido se le va a dar a la oración, va. Entonces, para saber si el verbo está en pasado normal o pasado participio, me imagino que tiene que ver el, 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 el verbo to be. Exactly, exactly, Michael. Recuérdese que esa es la estructura, ¿verdad? Once es algo difícil... Okay. okay, Michael, don't worry. Oh, Fernando, okay. don't worry. So, yes, Michael, remember about the structure. Acuérdense de la estructura, de lo que, o sea, voz pasiva ahorita, acordémonos la estructura, que después del verbo be, viene otro verbo en forma de pasado participio. Y ese enlace lo, lo va a compartir, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 es una presentación. Mm -hmm. Se las puedo compartir. De hecho, ya no abordamos dos enlaces más que tenía por ahí. Para chequearlo sábado y domingo. <ríe> Pero se los voy a compartir, ¿ok? Ahí compartí, teacher, lo que he encontrado yo. Oh. Excelente. Eso me gusta de estos grupos, que son bien solidarios y empiezan como, como a compartir aquello que les ha funcionado para aprender. Okay. Voy a pasar lista en todo eso, por favor. Traten de culminar las actividades de la semana 1 para que yo del día de mañana pueda eh, mandar el informe uh, en la mañanita. Okay. Profe, y en la, la, en la número 4, ¿cómo sería la primera? Porque yo la puse... este. La puse mi responsabilidad, responsabilidad, pero no me la aceptó. Uh, en el ejercicio de la plataforma, dice. Sí. Ok, let me see. Creo que algo así era. Homework number four, right? Ah, no, no, that's homework number five. What number, uh, Michael? <clears throat> uh, no. Uh, no, you're I know. I'm sorry, Michael. You are talking about homework number four. I will share what I have here, Michael. So, I said the error the, the, the spelling. But you can check it down here. So, you say number four, right? Oh, no, number, what number did you say, Michael? Punctuality? Michael? What? 
do me the favor to finish with it, people. You know, up to the homework or the activity number five. Okay. Up to number five. I will check list attendance, okay? Okay, time is almost over. So, Aidan. Belen. Daniel Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, that's Daniel. Edgar. Gladys. Jonathan Josué. Okay, uh, Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Okay, Maria Elba. Berenice. Merlin. I am here. Thank you, Michael. Here, teacher. Okay, Michael. Okay. Uh, Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you, Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Chinchansi. Okay, thank you. Let me see some people in the chat. Ronan's there. Okay. Juan is there, Edgar, and Ronan. Good. Okay. So, Michael, I don't know. I, I couldn't answer your question. No puede responderle, Michael, porque no visualicé cuál ejercicio usted me estaba indicando. Si tiene alguna sí, dificultad, me dicen. Sí, sir. Ajá. Creo que Michael se refería al, al ejercicio o a la actividad número cuatro. Uh, number four, ok. Yes. Number four, ok, over here, right? Yes, but I, I didn't. Now, if you are respectful, well, I will, because of the time, I will share the answer, right? So that you can see. Algunas veces es por, por, por el deletreo que no nos, que, que algo está mal, digamos, mal digitado y por eso no nos lo valida la plataforma. Sí, so the, no me pasa, no me pasa ok, now, first one, we have respect. Second one, we have punctuality. The third one, we have honesty. Then we have leadership. And the last one's about loyalty. So I, I hope you, you got it. Okay, now, do you get it, uh, Michael? Well, you know, today is Friday and tomorrow, I think you are going to take it easy, right? El, otro, el, el, el sábado ya descansar, domingo descansar. Aquellos que pues le van a estar dando vuelta a eso de voz pasiva, pues a lo mejor se, se van a dedicar a, a profundizar en ello. Pues está bien, ok. Está bien. El día lunes todavía tenemos clases. Ok. Ok. Y ya luego entran a su periodo de vacación. ¿Any question? Any, no, any comment? No, no question. Uh, okay. teacher. Tell me, tell me, Anima. Eh, pues yo he estado algo deficiente porque he estado muy ocupado con mi trabajo y, y como salgo a casi madrugada, no he, no he hecho muchas tareas. Así que mis disculpas por eso. Ok, pero 
les recomiendo siempre no darnos por vencidos, ¿ok? Recuérdense, yo por ejemplo mañana tengo que, a más tardar, mañana en la mañana yo debo reportar eh, los avances que ustedes están teniendo y okay. lo que aparece en, en la plataforma también, ¿verdad? En Entonces, la plataforma sí voy ahí a puntual. ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Entonces ya tiene su primer 100%. Si ha hecho todas las actividades de manera correcta, ya tiene su primer 100%. Recuérdense que la plataforma da, no recuerdo si son dos o tres oportunidades eh, tres, para ¿no? que puedan corregir, ¿verdad? Entonces, <risa> o sea, la opción de, de usted obtener el 10, pues ahí está. Lo que, nos, lo que nosotros queremos es que usted reafirme eh, lo que vemos en clase. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. So if you don't have any comment, any question, let us see you on Monday. Good night, people, okay. and God bless you. Good night. Thank you. Good see night. you later, teacher. See you later. Good night. Good night. Thanks.